Happy New Year! This is Sunday afternoon, January the 3rd, I believe it is, and I haven't made a cooking video in probably two or three weeks, and I'm sure, just like y'all scheduled, uh, things got a little crazy with out-of-town company, the kids came, and we had such a good time, but um, it's time to get back to reality and just cooking um, more than just Mexican food. Some of our kids that were here are living in North Carolina now, so when they're here, they love to eat as much Tex-Mex as possible. So. I told Randy a couple days ago, I said, the only thing that sounds good to me is a just a roast with potatoes and carrots. So I thought, since I'm doing that this afternoon, we would make roast, and I would show y'all uh, how I make it. I know the, the big popular thing right now is to make the roast recipe with the banana peppers, and I think maybe the dry ranch seasoning, and there's something else I don't remember. But anyway, this is the one my cousin Marianne had taught me Oh my goodness, probably in the late 70s, I guess, and I've been making it ever since, and some of the people of, of our friends and family that make it just swear by it. They love it, and this is the only recipe they use now, too. It's really, really easy, but I have to tell y'all, it's got cream of mushroom soup, just a can of cream of mushroom, has a can of French onion soup. I'll put it over here so Randy can show y'all. You want to say Happy New Year, honey? Happy New Year. I tell him he can't breathe today when he's doing this because everybody commented on how they could hear him breathe. So he's holding his breath. Um, not really. Um, and also, kick him on soy sauce. I know that sounds crazy, but I promise you it doesn't make it taste Asian flavors. It's just amazing how this kick him on soy sauce makes the gravy so rich and so brown. So what we'll do first is i've already rinsed the, the roast when i cut it in half years so we bought a huge one and i put the other half in the in the freezer so um i'm gonna go ahead and i sprayed the pan with pan this, oh it's a chuck roast thank you honey i haven't thought about that yeah chuck roast I, i'm not a big <laughs> rump roast is that what they're called rump roast and it's, what's the other kind of roast? There's rope roast and something else. I don't remember. To me, this is the best just because it has it's more flavorful and it's not dry. I love that about it. So anyway, um, let me go into rinse mine. We just had lunch, a late lunch. We, uh, um, gosh, we didn't eat lunch till what one thirty, quarter to two. Yep. So I'm gonna go put this on the fire. This is a roasting pan that my mom fixed a roast in probably every Sunday while I was growing up, and I think she got it from her mom. I'm 70, so this has had a lot of roast cooked in it. And it did, I, I might have even told y'all before. How old are you? Uh, 55. Oh. <laughs> anyway, Randy's dad, bless his heart, I think you can see right there, this roast got a little hole in it one time. So Howard, Randy's dad, said, let me fix it for you. So he just went and got a screw and put the screw in there and it works great it works great so i've been still using it all the time for roast and actually i, I sometimes make uh, uh, my spaghetti sauce with meatballs in it as well and then bake it just because we like the, the flavor of the things when they're, they're baked better than just on the sauce i sprinkle some garlic salt or excuse me garlic powder on it uh -huh. and some pepper and after we brown it on both sides, I put a little bit of olive oil in this. And I have to tell y'all, I'm so excited. Some of our kids, Cameron, I'm going to just give a shout out to you. Um, he and Mandy had given me, and I just got it today, it came in the mail today, but they gave me a tripod with a big circular light on it and a, a holder that holds my phone. So. I can, oh, with a remote control, too, so I can stop and start the video as I need to, but we haven't figured out yet how to kind of do the, put the light on it, so Randy's going to read about that this afternoon, and, and so this video is filled with him holding it. But. Still handheld and breathing hard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's still handholding and still breathing. <laughs> I don't put any salt on this at all, because it's got it with the soy sauce, the keep them on soy sauce. And of course the French onion too. But uh, Marion, my cousin, when she told me this, she said that she feels like the soy sauce has something in it, and I don't know, maybe it does, that um, helps tenderize the roast. And chuck roasts are very, very well known for being tender anyway.
Oh, you know what? I forgot we didn't tell them, honey. Last video, I think I told y'all I had a surprise, or we would tell y'all some of the time. What we were going to tell y'all is we finally get to move. We're so excited. Our lease isn't up here until April, but we decided to just go ahead and um, pay a couple of miles here and get on the road and move to Frisco to be closer to our family out there and our church out there also. So, um... Anyway, we're going to start, we can have the house as of February the 1st, so we're going to start moving, and the phone started this afternoon when we started building the boxes. I'm sprinkling some parsley clay on it as well. I'm going to take it off the heat for a minute. I'm going to open the cans of food. What food is that? Mushroom? This is cream of mushroom. Cream of mushroom, okay. Cream of mushroom. You're good at remembering what I should be saying. What's the right answer? Ooh, you're mean today. That's because I'm making him do this instead of watch football. Put a little bit of water in it. I'm going to get the can opener. Okay. And we are moving to a one-story house out in Frisco, like I said. And so, my goodness, we carried up the groceries yesterday, and I told him, I said, yay, we only have about, what, two to three more times of carrying up groceries. Ow, that's hot over the burner. And then a little bit more soy sauce. You don't measure, huh? I don't measure that. I, that was probably two tablespoons of soy sauce at, at, at the most. So one can of French onion. One French can. onion. A can of French onion. Mm -hmm. A can of cream of mushroom. A little bit of soy sauce. Okay. The Kikamon soy sauce. Okay. And we're ready to put it in the oven. That's real good. And I'll cook it for probably about, um, probably two and a half to three hours at 325. And we'll come back when it comes out of the oven. I'll show y'all how good the gravy is and what to do about the gravy. Sure. Okay, we are back. And um, honey, you want to put the camera on the roast? This is the roast. With I had stopped it after about an hour and a half and took it out of the oven and added carrots to it. And because we have this wonderful, rich gravy that you can see, you don't even have to thicken it, all of you uh, that are kind of afraid to work with gravy and make it. If you do this, you don't have to do anything but dish it up. And we are having mashed potatoes tonight. Randy wanted green beans, so I've got some fresh green beans that I'm going to uh, saute in a little bit of olive oil and butter. And um, that's going to be our little southern meal tonight yeah. is, <laughs> is, is roasted potatoes, uh, mashed potatoes. And I'm going to just add a little bit of butter and whipping cream, salt and pepper to the potatoes when I get them cooked and mashed. And the, the green beans cream. do what? Whipping cream? Whipping cream, yeah. A little bit of whipping cream. So, um, anyway, we've got hot rolls that we'll uh, put in the oven. So, this will be our dinner tonight. And also, I wanted to share with y'all, um, I think in one of the videos, I, I talked about Goya products. And a friend of ours, I saw on Facebook one day, had talked about Goya products. And I never really noticed them in the grocery store before. But we went to a different Walmart the other day, and they had a whole aisle of Goya products. And apparently, they're family-owned, and she had talked about how good they were. So, Randy and I had found, uh, maybe I should just show it, honey. If y'all are looking for some new foods to, to have, we all get so tired sometimes of the same-o, same-o. We bought these chili rellenos and had them. They're good. They are good. They're delicious. All you do is take them out of the package, put on a baking sheet, and bake them for about 15, 20 minutes. It even has the salsa in here to where you just put the salsa in a pan and warm it and put over it. Now, we're a little spoiled to uh, the chili rellenos we've had in New Mexico. So, what I will do this time, even though that was a great um, chili relleno, the, the breading on it is really, really good. We like it to, after it cooks, to put a green sauce over it and then more cheese on the top and then put it back in the oven. So I will probably do that this time. But anyway, if y'all have these in your market, buy them. Don't be afraid. Of, they are absolutely delicious. In fact, I would serve these easily to company and they'd never know that they were 
frozen, but Goya is the brand. They had a lot of different things. This is the only thing we've tried other than um, their seasoning. What did I do with it? Oh, here it is. They have adobo which we were watching the Food Network the other night, and all the chefs uh, that were doing the Mexican food were using adobo. And I had bought it one time from Penske Spices, and I didn't realize that Goya had it. So anyway, this is a lot cheaper and a huge container of it. This will we'll probably be at a Darcy home by the time I finish this uh, bottle of it. But anyway, uh, uh, Goya adobo seasoning. I did put that. Why did I put it on this? Oh, uh, we had tacos the other night and I used it to season the meat. So anyway, look up Goya in the grocery store and see if y'all can find it. They're absolutely delicious. They're great. Even Randy, who loves Tex Mex, or excuse me, Santa Fe, New Mexico, Mexican food said these were wonderful and they really were wonderful. So anyway, I'll take a picture when we get get everything on the plate tonight but thank y'all for for watching don't forget to look at look us up on um, sassy southern on youtube and we're on instagram and the blog is chocolatecastles.com y'all have a great week and um, enjoy the sunshine while it's out love y'all bye, bye.